Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another episode of NBA Player Builds. And as you can see on your screen, in today's episode, we are going to be recreating Toronto's legend, Chris Bosch. Now, before he linked up with D Wade and LeBron James uh, in Miami with the Miami Heat or whatever and won his two championships. Uh, Chris Bosch was basically the franchise player for the Toronto Raptors and in his own right, you know, a superstar player for the Toronto Raptors, you know, well before he took that backseat role to win in uh, Miami with LeBron and D-Wade, of course. So a lot of people, you know, kind of clown him and kind of make jokes or whatever like that, try to relinquish him as like not being a really great player in his own regard. But Chris Bosch was a really good player and probably... Um, e easily a top five big man in his era, you know what I'm saying? Back when he played and whatnot, you know, uh, you know, he was a really good player, could stretch the floor, could play, uh, you know, out of the post and stuff like that. A really great player. If you, you know, if you have no idea about him and stuff like that, you should go on YouTube and look at his, you know, videos, his highlights and stuff like that. Go look up his stats and his numbers that he was putting up, uh, with Toronto and stuff like that. And you'd realize how good of a player he actually was, you know what I'm saying? But Enough said, let's just jump right into his build. Um, Chris Bars is 6'11, 235 pounds. Um, played the power forward slash center position. Uh, Warty jersey number four, which is you know where the nickname CB4 came from, and has a 7-4 wingspan. His attributes are as follows: he has a 78 layup, an 80 standing dunk, a 69 driving dunk, a 94 close shot. A 92 mid-range, a 75 three-ball, an 84 free throw, 94 post control, 52 pass accuracy, 58 uh, ball handle, 52 speed with ball, 88 interior defense, 78 perimeter defense, 57 steals, 61 block, 91 offensive rebound with a 94 defensive rebound, a 72 speed, a 60 acceleration, an 80 strength, and an 80 vertical with a 95 stamina. His badge count is as follows. He has gold bully, silver drop stepper with bronze aerial wizard and post spin technician. He has gold claymore and silver catch and shoot with bronze post playmaker and vice grips. And then he also has gold box out beast with silver brick wall, pogo stick, rebound chaser, and workhorse. Now, for the most part, we was able to reach all of those thresholds. Um, off rip, you'll see that we weren't able to get a 94 defensive rebound. I'm capped out at 91. Um, but since he doesn't have gold rebound chaser, it doesn't really matter. He has silver, so we'll be fine with the 91 versus the 94. Um, moving on, uh, we won't be able to get that 78 perimeter defense. We're capped out at 73, actually, because of the height on this build. But, you know, we'll we'll live with that uh, 73. Uh, 78, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I mean, we'll have higher levels and badges, but those are badges he doesn't have anyway. So it's not going to make that much of a difference, uh, in my opinion. Um, I didn't put the speed with ball up just because putting up a 52 speed with ball is going to take a lot of our attribute points. And it's not going to give us anything in return. Uh, I'm going to be capped at two playmaking badges no matter what. So I figured there was no point in putting speed with ball up to a 52. If it's not going to give me more playmaking badges to utilize or whatever. So I just left it at 28. We do have his ball handle and pass accuracy. Um... The only other thing is we couldn't get a 92 mid-range. Uh, so I bought the mid-range down to an 86. I think it capped out at 88, but you don't really get anything going all the way up to 86. And the difference between 85 and 86 is Hall of Fame guard up. And even though I don't plan to use that badge, I do like to just have those thresholds for certain badges and stuff like that. Because you never know when a badge might get patched or changed or anything like that. And it might actually be a really useful meta badge going forward in the future. So I just went ahead and got that 80. 86 uh mid-range you know what i'm saying but you can uh settle for just 85 if you like you don't have to go up to 86 we got his three ball uh we don't have the 84 free throw but with a 71 free throw you're still gonna hit just the same uh we have his post control his standing dunk his driving dunk um and his layup the only thing we didn't get was the 94 close shot but once again you know it's not going to make much of a difference in 80 or 90. It's pretty much all pretty much the same when you're taking good shots. You're not forcing uh, dumb things in the paint. But our final badge count is 20 finishing, 20 shooting, 2 playmaking, and 22 defensive. And then we have our choice between 
spot up take, glass take, and post scoring take. Obviously, as I said, Bosch, you know, worked out of the, the post primarily, especially in Toronto. He didn't become more of a spot up, you know, corner uh, sitter type of player until he went to Miami to play with LeBron and Wade. So we also got that spot up badge, but post scoring is where he's going to primarily do most of his cooking and work at. And then, you know, spotting up. You could go with glass cleaner, but I just feel like, you know, the best takeovers here is post scoring and spot up. And then, of course, when we create our build, you'll see that we made a two way inside the arc score with shades of none other than Chris Bosch at the very top. So there you have it. This is my Chris Bosch build for NBA 2K23. It's been your boy Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content, badge breakdown videos, and of course more NBA player builds just like this one. I'm out guys. Peace.